Hey there birds, welcome to another pick a card. So today on your Wednesday career message, we're taking a look where is your current career path taking you, okay? Your current career, your current leap of faith, your current vision, whatever it is, where is it taking you in the long run? And what is the next step to take, okay, to align yourself um, with your life purpose, to align yourself with your highest career path, okay? Because your current path may not be taking you where you need to go or where you want to go, and we're taking a look on how to get there, okay? We don't have any shells today, right now, but we will, because we're going to pull some shells uh, on each pile uh, on camera. So we have four beautiful piles over here. We have number one, two, three, and four. So as always, you can feel free to pause the video, take a couple of deep breaths, you know, close your eyes, really focus on your breathing, ground yourself, and then choose intuitively, and I will see you there. Hey there, pal number one, welcome to your reading. So before we take a look into these cards, we're gonna pull some shells, okay, to see where this career path is taking you. Don't forget to smash that like button to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in a private reading, the link is gonna be down below. Let's get into it. Very interesting. So we have here, uh, we have some Aries energy. I also am picking up on Taurus. You don't have to be though. Uh, but I am picking up that maybe there's a certain career path or, or a certain career change that you want to take. And honestly, it may be for the best because this one showed up first. And this for me in terms of career, uh, it could be like a one solo, you know, solo man job. But I am picking up that it could not be making you as happy as you could be. And uh, I kind of feel like there's more to you. There's You have more potential than what you're taking on right now, than what you're showing the world. And you may not be receiving the financial reward for what you do. You may not be receiving the recognition because you deserve more. And so I feel like there's a little adjustment here that you may need to make uh, to fully get into this uh, Aries sort of emperor energy where you are in control and you know what you want, you know what you like, you know what you want to do with your career and it's it's empowering. You empower yourself and you feel confident in what you do. So I kind of feel like there's this very uh, different kind of energy because yes, this is solo and this can also be solo, uh, but I'm picking up that this is more like you not necessarily procrastinating, but you're not fully being happy in what you do. And this here is you being solo, uh, being sort of like a leader or something, and it, it empowers you. Okay, but let's see. Let's see what we have. So we have self-love, time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. And we have intuition, listen to your soul's truth, think less, feel more. Yeah. And I kind of feel like where your current path is taking you... Um, Honestly, I feel like not a lot of where your current path is taking you is showing up. I feel like it's more about the change that needs to happen. That's I feel like that is really important for you right now because you have to listen to yourself. And I kind of feel like I kind of feel like you already know that you sort of not have to do it, but you, you already know what you want to do, and you already know that this career change may need to happen for you to get there. Um, but I feel like once you do, you get to that Empress energy, Emperor energy, and you get to this, well, also this Empress energy of self-love and knowing that you are doing what is right for you, and you get this intuition of like, that is where I'm going to go. And I feel like right now, with this Taurus energy, there's a lot of like, I'm doing what brings me money, and you may fear a little bit that this new path may not bring you as much money. And if you're doing something that you love, if you're doing something that you're passionate about, then you're going to receive the money for it, okay? And I kind of feel like this intuition is really telling you, hey, listen to yourself. And as you connect more with yourself, your path um, sort of changes and adapts to your highest path, to what you're meant to do, to your life purpose. And I kind of feel like that is where this career thing going on is, is taking you. Okay, I definitely feel like we're talking here about a career change, but let's pull, whoops, sorry, let's pull some more cards to get some more information. We have protection, and we also have here despondence, yeah, so with this despondence, there's definitely like um, some sort of action that needs to happen, 
okay? This despondence is all about action. And with this protection, I definitely feel like because the reason why this is not working and you're not getting the recognition is the universe and your guides trying to protect you, okay? Trying to, you see how the bird is like flying and taking this girl somewhere else, okay? So I definitely feel like your current path is taking you to a change, it's taking you to a career change because it's not aligned with what you want. And I was talking about the Empress and the Empress is the mother of the tarot. Um, and you have here this pregnant lady with the world. And I definitely feel that that change will take you to a place where you are in tune with your body. You feel confident. You feel uh, respected and acknowledged. And you don't, I feel like right now you're a little bit in the behind the scenes. And as you move towards that change, um, you get more into a like standing up for yourself and really being there in the power in the lead and that may scare you a little bit but it's I kind of feel like it's your path sorry to break it to you but I kind of feel like it is and there's this need of like really listening to your intuition really listening to yourself and taking what it's what it's needed okay making the change that's needed to happen and this all of a sudden turned out into a career advice career message kind of reading and not so much where this career path is taking you but I definitely feel like the current path it's not taking you very far and you already it's like you already don't see the abundance and the success from it it's because it's not for you okay I really feel like it is not and as you change I don't know if you can hear the birds but that bird was like oh yeah she's talking the truth <laughs> but as you change, you really align with who you are and you really align with who you want to be. And your voice is heard. I really feel like your voice now is not being heard, even by you. And with that bird singing like crazy, it's like, yeah, I want to come out. I want to I want to speak. And I feel like you're not speaking up. Okay, but let's pull some tarot. Ten of swords in reverse. Wow, ten of pentacles in reverse. Talking about not feeling the money, not seeing it. Eight of Wands in reverse. Wow, a lot of reversals. What the hell? Three of Wands. And we also have the Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Wands is also in reverse. Um, so I got good news for you. <laughs> it's this Queen of Pentacles. She's in the upright. Not that the other ones in the reverse are not good. But with the Queen of Pentacles in the upright... Um, this is like the final place. This is where you're finally getting. And the Queen of Pentacles is all about nurturing something that it's really yours. It's like it's your baby with that pregnant lady. It's something that it's really, it, it comes from inside of you. It's not just something that you do maybe for um, material gain or something or because it's safe in a way. And with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I definitely feel like you are a little bit maybe worried of, of putting an end to what you're doing now and I really feel like that needs to end but with the ten of swords in reverse I also feel like you're already acknowledging that well maybe 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 I need to change here you know because I feel like you're doing things uh, I kind of feel like there's this thing of like family or friends I feel like it's especially family of how they may react with your change and everything and honestly I feel like your life will be much easier and better when you listen to yourself and when you respect yourself and when you not when you don't give a fuck about your family's opinions and ideas of what of what you should be doing and who you should be because right now you're this is right in the center of your reading you're not speaking your truth you're not being authentic to who you truly are and who you truly want to be and that, I feel like it's creating a lot of delays on those manifestations. I really feel like you're trying to manifest this Ten of Pentacles. But because you're not being authentic and because you're uh, really pushing back into taking the change, this is taking you to a lot of delays, to a lot of things are not working, this, this is not working, this is not moving. And as you shift, you see she's looking at the past, she's looking at all that that is not working. As you shift... You look at the Queen of Pentacles and you're like, oh wow, I have so much. And I am so much. I kind of feel like because things are not working right now, you may feel um, worthless. You may feel like you're never going to be successful. You may feel that you are not going to um, thrive in any way. And as you shift your focus and as you really start being honest with yourself, 
you actually start seeing the queen of pentacles that you are enough and you have everything that you need and you really start taking care of yourself and you start celebrating who you truly are okay so i mean take that shift <laughs> okay take that change it is scary as hell i can i can speak in terms of that okay i can speak about it cuz i shift my career and i'm i'm happier than ever okay I'm really happy and I wouldn't like I look back and I wouldn't be happy where I was. I definitely wouldn't. And I feel like you deserve happiness. I mean, I feel I know that you deserve happiness. And so do you really want to settle for this um I don't know, for this or do you want to turn all of this a pride and have all the money have a lot of communication, a lot of movement, fast movement, um, a lot of respect for yourself. Not that you don't have now, but you're, I feel like you're not being honest, okay? And so for you, pal one, what is showing up, it's two outcomes. It's two paths here. Kind of feel like you're at a crossroads. So you can be in this Taurus energy. Oh, this is funny. You can actually be an Aries Taurus. <laughs> Because, um, but you can be in this Taurus energy of really being isolated, not getting the financial thing that you want, or you can be the emperor, okay? So let's pull um, some next steps to take, okay? What is the advice here for you to align with your highest career? Ooh, sorry, gosh, channeling a lot. <laughs> to align with your highest career and with where you're meant to go, Okay. So we have count your blessings. That's interesting. And it's a one card. And we have working too hard with the 40. Um, so I really feel that this count your blessings is really asking you to take a look at all that you've already accomplished and take a look at all your dreams and dream big because you can have those blessings that can be yours. And especially being the one, ones are all about new beginnings. So I definitely feel like they are asking you here to take the leap of faith, to risk, to do something and do not hesitate. Okay. Cause right now I really feel like you need to cool it down and you need to truly connect with our intuition. It's not about physical. It's not about Taurus, um, air energy, uh, it's it's more it's not Taurus fire. It's more about air, uh, water kind of energy where you really connect with your heart and your intuition, and you really ask yourself, okay, what do I truly want? If I look further, like in five ten years, where do I see myself? If I look into five ten years from now, and I am doing this, am I going to be happy? If I'm doing this, am I going to ha be happy? You know, and I really feel like you need to respect yourself and take the action that you need to take to really do it. Okay? I really feel like right now you need to take a little moment back to really listen to your intuition. Okay? Even if it's like a week or a weekend, you know, but you really need to take some time alone. Okay? To listen to yourself. So we have the Two of Cups. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, dude, really look at your options and look at the people that you have around you. One other question that you should be asking yourself is why do you care so much of what other people think? Okay, I definitely feel like this is especially around uh, family and why are their opinions so important? Okay, that is something that probably um, came from your childhood or something and you really need to look up at where where did it start and how can I change it? Because there is something that you truly love, something that you truly want to do. You possibly have other people around you telling you, you can't do this. This is not going to work. You're being stupid. You're not good enough for that. You, that is never going to happen. What are you telling yourself? What they are telling you is an idea that they have of you. But only you can know your true self and only you can tell yourself the truth about your path, okay? So I really feel like you need to look into the people around you and why they affect you so much. Um, that could actually be your Chiron. For me, it was a big thing. My Chiron is in the fourth house. That's all about family and home, right? Um, but also look at what you truly want to do, Okay? Because you have options. And one of them is a lot of love. One of them is a lot of happiness. A lot, a lot of happiness, okay? 
So let's pull some final messages and advice here from the universe to see um, some final guidance, <laughs> basically. So we have believe, yeah, believe in your dreams. I feel like you may think that your dreams are too impossible to achieve, that your dreams are never going to happen. They can happen, okay? If you believe, they can. We also have free like a bird, yeah. And we also have gift yourself. It's basically saying what we just discussed. It's free yourself from those people's opinions, okay? Because it's, it's your life. So you choose how you want to live it and gift yourself with this blessing of following your dreams and following your heart in what you do, okay? That's something really, really important. So pile number one, this was lovely. I hope it resonated, I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me, please. Do subscribe if you haven't already. I would definitely uh, love to see you in the next one. So yeah, that, that's it. If you're interested in private reading, the link is gonna be down below and I will see you in the next one, bye-bye. Hi there, pile number two, welcome to your reading. So we're gonna start with some shells and then we get into your cards. And don't forget to smash the like button if you resonate with this, if you like this type of content. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below, okay? So let's get started. Let's put some shells here to see where your current path is taking you, okay? Ooh, oh gosh, we have a lot. Okay, <laughs> I'll just take them. So we have over here this one. This for me, it's sort of like 10 of ones in reverse. We have, well, shout out to all my star seeds. <laughs> this is my star seed shell. We also have this self-care one. And we have, woo. well, we have some money coming in. Okay, I kind of feel like there's this thing of, I don't necessarily feel, well, pile number one, spoiler. Uh, pile number one was about a true shift in career. For you, I just feel like it's a shift in something that you're doing right now. Um, it could be like a routine, it could be a mindset, there's something that is weighing you down a little bit, there could be like a, a uh, I'm hearing like you're not being heard, so there could be like an idea that you have and you're pitching it up to your bosses or whatever, and you're not truly being heard, and you could also feel, if this is like um, a solo business, I feel like you're not being seen, you know, there's something around that, and you could feel like you're on the wrong path and you could feel like things are just not working for you. This is not for you. Well, I have news for you. This is for you, <laughs> okay? You truly are on your right path because this for me, it's very like starseed mission, okay? So if you are a starseed, this is your mission. If you are not a starseed, if you don't identify yourself as a starseed, that's totally fine. It's just, it's about your life purpose, okay? I definitely feel like this is something that you are here to do. And I definitely feel like you're not you're feeling different and you're feeling like maybe this is not the time to be different, totally wrong. Like now is the time to be different, okay? And I really feel like you need to embrace yourself and to accept who you are and accept the career that you're on and what you're doing because baby, a lot of money is coming in, okay? This is my abundance shell. So there's definitely a lot of rewards coming your way. I do feel like you have been working really, really hard and it has become stressful and everything, but know that you are on the right path. And I definitely feel like um, there, there's definitely something here around like mindset too for some of you. And I feel like once you start healing on that and working on that, working more on you personally and not so much on the 3D aspect of things, uh, you actually start seeing that abundance because you're accepting yourself and you're accepting your um, abundance because you may feel like you're not, this may be subconscious, okay, but you may feel like you're not um, worthy of, of abundance and as you start embracing that, that yes, I am worthy of abundance and I'm worthy of all that is good. Uh, then you actually start connecting with that and you start receiving it, okay? There is really this thing of you possibly being, trying to do something different, because uh, star seeds, they, for those of you who don't know, star seeds basically, it's beings that reincarnated here on Earth, but they are from another galaxy, another star, another place, another planet, okay? And they reincarnate here on Earth with a specific mission. Overall, is to raise Earth's vibration and to heal Earth and to, you know, help it make a better place and um they usually feel very like the stars out of the home especially when you're looking at the sky it's like man i wish i was there there's this big fascination for the universe and the stars and everything and 
especially as you were a kid, if you were a star seed, you may have felt like you were never understood, you probably didn't have a lot of friends, and you were like the weirdo, you were the outcast, and that could have really hurt you, and now you're not really embracing that weird side of you, and that is the key, okay, that really is the key, so let's pull some cards to see, to have more information, so we have the squirrel with spiritual maintenance, be your own caretaker, yeah, and we also have the soul growth. Growth is never easy. Have faith and trust in the journey. So again, you are on the journey, okay? And I definitely feel like you're growing a lot internally. And you are, especially with this one, it's all about self-care and accepting who you are as well as the squirrel with that spiritual maintenance. And I feel like right now the key is to really embrace you and to really accept you and work on you, not working on the career necessarily because as you work on yourself, you're working on the career as well. Okay, and I would definitely feel like that would take you where you want to be. And um, I definitely feel like you're going to end this journey as someone so mature. Not that you are not now, but I feel like it's you're going to look back into your growth and you're like, holy shit, I never thought I could be this person, you know? I really feel like I'm getting sort of um, emperor vibes. Maybe not emperor, emperor, but more like king of pentacles where it's really a really wise person that has been through a lot and can help others um like get and inspire others to get where you are um at that point you know and i really feel like there's this thing of you inspiring others and you supporting others and helping others to grow maybe not in a direct way where that is your job most but by you sharing your story and you really being there and owning who you are you're automatically inspiring others to do the same okay so i definitely feel like there's a lot of growth happening here and it's a beautiful growth where you you just you you blossom you essentially blossom okay so let's get some more cards here for you we have realization yeah we also have faith look at all this like a uh, very university kind of thing and very like you having the key for your soul and for your purpose and having all this faith a lot of like a uh, very spiritual intuition kind of energy you're definitely I feel like you're definitely on your right path okay I feel like you're definitely um, on the path to your life purpose and um, actually funny enough I feel like your life purpose is not career related I feel like your life purpose is this is you like the thing that you're here to learn is and to like attune and to really own it is you okay I actually wouldn't be surprised if for North know this in like first house or something um but there's really this thing of you acknowledging who you are and has your mission has what you're meant to do in terms of career you're really on that path and I feel like what is happening here is that where you're going is the key is you seeing, oh wait, I am the key to unlock the, the the thing that I'm meant to do, you know? And you start having faith and you have faith right beneath the trust in the journey, right? Um, and have faith, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, and you have this realization be, uh, beneath the spiritual maintenance. So it's really about you understanding that you are the key and you really having faith that, okay, everything is unfolding how it's supposed to and I am on an amazing path, okay? So let's pull some tarot here to get some more information. We have Justice, Five of Wands, Tower, Ooh, Ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you may get to this place. Um, I feel like right now you may be in this place of like, man, I'm just going to give up. This is just not for me. I'm just going to quit and start something new. I'm going to I'm gonna change my, my careers all of a sudden. I really feel like that is not the the issue here. That is not the thing that needs to change. Because with this wheel of fortune in reverse, it's like the wheel is not turning because it's not supposed to turn. You know, that's what I'm picking up. Because you are already on the path of this ten of pent of ten of cups. Well, ten of pentacles <laughs> wanted to come out of my mouth. So maybe it is a ten of pentacles. A lot of abundance, a lot of financial stability, but mainly a lot of happiness. That is where you're headed. And I really get this um I really don't pick that up from this card, but there's this thing of like, I really feel like they are inspiring their kids to be authentic, to love who they want to love, to do what they want to do, to just live the life they want to live and like, don't apologize for doing that. You know, I feel like that is the message that they are doing and they are really inspiring their kids by just being themselves. 
obviously they could be teaching them those things, but it's just like they're a beautiful lesbian couple being happy. That's it. And their kids have this idea of them, of beautiful, empowering women that are just authentic. And that is the thing of like, maybe you're not inspiring others directly, but you're really, by just being yourself, you're inspiring your others, okay? And I kind of feel like there could be this thing of maybe you needing a little bit of not necessarily other people's approval, but other people's acceptance, I feel, or like confirmations of, I am on the right path. This is what I'm meant to do. And in reality, you don't need any of this. And once you have that click inside your mind that, no, wait, I have to be the one to tell myself that I am on the right path. I have to be the one to realize that I am on the right path. And when that happens, that's when that tower happens. It's not a bad tower at all. It's actually a pretty amazing tower because it brings the Ten of Cups, brings all the happiness. So I do feel like your current career path is amazing. Okay, it's taking you to an amazing place. It's just a matter of you balancing things out. This, I feel like it's where you are right now. And once you get through with it, boom, things happen. Okay, so let's pull some advice for you into how... Uh, like what to do next, what is the next step to take for you to align with that purpose and with that higher um, path, okay? So let's, we'll pull this in a little bit. Let's see here. We have, you miss someone and we also have the past returned for a time. So I kind of feel like there's this thing of, uh, you could also be like, you were on a certain path and everything, especially with this justice here, everything seemed good. You, you were really excited in the beginning. You were like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm so excited for this. And then um, a little bit of like the toxic thoughts, and especially if you're a star seed, that thing of feeling, um, I don't know, out of place, of feeling like an outcast, of feeling like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing because it's not a society thing that is accepted, you know? Um, and that actually makes a lot of sense with that lesbian couple. It's like, um, not that you were a lesbian or a gay overall, um, but it, it's that thing. If you look back for, I mean, even today, there are a lot of people that don't accept um, that community at all. But even just a few years ago, that was heavier. That was even worse, you know? And... It just being authentic in that community, it's also, it's already so big, you know? And I feel like it's what's happening here in terms of career. It's you feeling like that community and this job that I'm doing, it's not accepted. So how can I move forward? You just move forward because it's what you, it's who you are and it's what you want to do. Okay. And I kind of feel like those thoughts of being the little, you could need to do a little bit of inner child work. Okay childhood things may be coming up because this is sounding a lot like childhood and childhood mindsets and childhood thoughts and I kind of feel like uh, maybe write a letter to your inner child okay maybe um, do something that really brings up that inner child so doing something really playful and doing something really fun and that doesn't require a lot of control a lot of creativity you know really do something like that to make your inner child feel accepted and feel like, yeah, okay, everything's good. You are ready to move forward, you know? And as you do that, you start embracing your past. You start accepting yourself. You start accepting your story and you start creating a new story where you are accepted and where you are on the right path and you're doing amazing, okay? So let's pull some tarot here. We have the star. Oh, man. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Oof. We're running out of space. We have the full in reverse and we have the ace of wands. Dude, this is incredible because there's that thing of the fool. It's about taking a leap of faith. And I feel like right now you are like, no, screw this. I'm just going to take the leap of faith. I don't care. I'm just going to, I'm just going to move. And it's the same thing with the tower and the wheel of fortune in reverse. It's like you don't do anything and a new beginning shows up. Okay. Because, and it could be a really fast new beginning. Ace of wands, that's pretty fast energy. It's just, it's you looking at what you're doing now. Are you happy with what are you doing? Forget about the financial stability, forget about the money, about the acceptance, about the recognition, any of that. When you go to work, when you are working, are you happy? Do you feel like that is your wish fulfillment? It's looking in like 10 years and being like, 
if I continue to do this in 10 years, would I wake up every single day feeling fulfilled and feeling like I'm doing something meaningful? If the answer is yes, then you are on the right path. That is what you need to recognize. And you don't take a leap of faith. Because I feel like right now, a lot of like inner conflict and a lot of like those ten of ones, right? That, those burdens, those, I don't know, that heaviness. I feel like it's really creating thoughts in your mind that are not truthful. And it's making you a little bit reckless and it's making you a little bit impulsive. And I feel like you can use that impulsiveness in another way. Okay? Being creative. Again, connecting with that inner child. And as you do that, you may actually get a beautiful idea for a new product. You may actually get a beautiful idea for like how to move forward. Okay? And I just saw in my clock 1444. So that's a lot of fours. Okay? That is all about stability and... Um, structure and foundation and I really feel like what you're creating now you're creating the foundation for something amazing really all right so let's see here we have healing well yeah we also have stop and we have be grateful um so it's really telling you hey stop overthinking stop doubting really be grateful for all all you already accomplished you know really if, uh, I keep getting that inner child a letter or something uh, of like a pride letter of like hey look at how far we've come like look at all that we have already accomplished because you may not be seeing all that you've already accomplished and I'm sure that you already accomplished a lot so I really want you to take a look at the last uh, I'm hearing five years or five months uh, it's going to be different but the number five I feel like it's important here look at like choose a date and even it could be just like a year ago who were you a year ago? What were you doing a year ago? And look at all the process, all the things that you've created so far, all the things that you've been through so far. You should be grateful for that. You should be proud of yourself for that. And you should heal your past, your childhood, because you are not that little girl, that little boy anymore. Okay? Now you're a grown ass person who's really making waves, who's really doing something beautiful. Okay? So be grateful for your path because that is helping you grow a lot and have faith that you are on the right path, okay? So, pile number two, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated, I hope it helped. If it did, please smash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And private readings, the link is gonna be down below and I'll see you in the next one, bye. Hey there, pile number three, welcome to your reading. So, as we said in the beginning, we're gonna start with some shells, okay? Then we'll take a look at this uh, cards. And don't forget to smash the like button if this resonates, if you if you like this type of content. Um, don't forget to subscribe, have it already. And if you're interested in private reading, the link is gonna be down below for that. And yeah, so let's get into it. Ooh, gosh, okay. Ooh, but I like this. So, number one, partnerships. Partnerships are coming in like crazy, okay? A lot, I don't know if you're in social media, but there's definitely a lot of, like, things through the internet. So, if you're not having, if you don't have a website, if you don't have, um, I don't know, just social media overall, I feel like a lot of things are happening through the internet, okay? Especially with this one. This is all about, like, communication and everything. And especially with this one, this is about community. So I kind of feel like whatever you're doing, you're creating a beautiful community and you're feeling part of something. This could even be, uh, I'm also hearing, like, uh, co-workers. I feel like you're going to create amazing partnerships and amazing friendships above uh, anything else. Uh, in your career environment, that is where you're going. And for some of you, you may actually meet a twin flame. <laughs> uh, no, but I actually feel like, well, it could be. Uh, but I am picking up that whatever you're doing, you it's, it's your life purpose, okay? Whatever you're doing, it's really taking you very far. And I feel like it's something that brings you closer to people and um, brings you closer to their needs. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But there's something around like fulfilling their needs and hearing them out and really trying to be there for them and creating a really supportive community. That is what I'm getting. It's a lot of like partnerships, community, um, friendships, just a lot of connecting with others and especially through social media and through internet or something like that. And 
I definitely feel like you may get a, a huge following, um, maybe even an influencer for someone out there that may resonate. Um, but I definitely feel like it's, um, it's like, not that there's like a good and bad influencer, but it's like, it's the influencer that it's really there to help. It's really there to like, um, like that influencer's goal is to support others and to show them how to be happy and to show them like how to support others. And that is, I feel like it's the true, uh, goal for whoever is wanting to be an influencer. It's like, it's creating an open community where everyone can be themselves and like no judgment or anything like that, you know? And yeah, for those of you who this is not about being an influencer, I do feel like there's a lot of partnerships coming in, a lot of like recognition from your peers, recognition from your coworkers. I'm hearing someone of uh, some of you could actually be writers, and there's a lot of recognition from a lot of writers, from other writer writers, and um, I'm also hearing interviews. So it, it's like you connect a lot with others, and you show yourself a lot to other people, and it's it's really really inspiring, really powerful. I like that. <laughs> so let's move some cards to get some more information. We have here, um, we have surrender, let go of limiting beliefs, be as expensive in your thoughts as your soul is. And we also have divine timing with the tiger. Good things come to those who wait. It was actually in reverse. So those good things may actually be closer than you expect. Uh, you may have been waiting for a long time for your big break. That may actually be there, okay? But I definitely feel that a lot of amazing things are coming in because you release all these thoughts. I feel like your current career path is taking you to a place of freedom, it's taking you to a place well of surrender, but especially especially freedom where you are allowed to speak your mind and where you're allowed to just go with the flow and follow your heart and not really have or not really worry about other people's expectations. Expectations is coming up. Um and maybe even your expectations from yourself. It's like, I feel like you're more open to who you are and you're more open to how things unfold. And because of that, there's a lot of flow and there's a lot of um, healing too, you know? And there's a lot of amazing things and a lot of inspiration. I really feel like you'll inspire others to be better, okay? But let's pull some more cards. We have Will. Hello, that's cute. Uh, oh, we actually have another card. Uh, we have confusion and workaholic. Okay, so maybe chill a little bit on the workaholism here, you know, just take it easy. But I definitely feel like one thing, especially this too, coming up beneath the divine timing card, is that sometimes when things are not working as you expected them to work, yeah, for some of you, you may actually definitely be artists of some sort. Um, and sometimes you may, you know, this big break may, may take a while and it's not really about, it's not that you should stop working, but it's not really about working more and working more and doing more. I feel like it's a lot of it. It's about networking. Okay. It's not about you creating more paintings and you doing more different stuff and everything like that. It's about connecting. It's about finding new people. It's about going to workshops and learning and really being there with other people, getting to know other people's jobs and or work, you know, and supporting them. Because I feel like you may, because of that, there's that thing of expectations, expectations towards yourself. Because of that, you may start doubting and you may start uh, questioning that, oh, maybe I should just give up and maybe this is not for me. Uh, and it's like, I feel like you go from zero to 180. It's like, I don't know if I, this is for me. And then we have 180 where it's like, no, I'm just going to work, 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 work. This is for me. I'm going to do a bunch of paintings. I'm going to write a bunch of books. Um, really take your time with it. Okay. Really take your time with it and do not give up with this wheel is like have the perseverance and have the strength to keep going. Cause I definitely feel like this is taking you to a place of a, a lot of expansion. Okay, a lot, a lot of expansion. And um, I really feel like there are amazing things in this career path. Okay, so let's see. We have the Four of Wands. Hermit, yeah. You're a little bit unknown. Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, High Priestess. Yeah, so with this Virgo energy here, 
uh, of the Hermit and especially the Knight of Pentacles is that things may take a little bit. But that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing because it allows you to learn new stuff, to build very solid foundations, not only in the outside world. And I feel like that is what you have... Um, it's what you easily do. It's creating foundation in the outside world. I feel like you're a quick learner and it, it's like you work good. I feel like you working is not a problem for you. But when it comes to your inside, when it comes to your inner foundation and your inner stability, you may have a little bit of trouble with that. And that is exactly what I feel like it's being called of you right now. We're going to take a look in just a second to like the next step. But I feel like that is what, especially with this let go of limiting beliefs and everything, I really feel like your mind here, it's playing a big role, okay? Because it's like, I want to get to the high priestess. Everyone is looking at the high priestess. And the high priestess is like looking at the, her past self. And it's like, honey, it's not about the outside world that you do, work that you do. It's about the inner work that you do. And I really feel that you are already so smart. I feel like you already know so much and you have so much knowledge in what you do. So it's not really about that. It's not about working more and learning more. Obviously, we're always learning, but it's about learning more about yourself. And that is a whole journey by itself, you know? But once you start getting into that, I feel like things start to move a little bit faster and you finally get to this high priestess point where you're, you're just... It's that expansion. It's like whatever. I feel like, you, especially for those of you who are Virgos, Virgos are really quick manifestors. They say, <laughs> honestly, I can't really experience in that. But um, they say that Virgos are really quick manifestors. So uh, I do feel like you have a lot of easiness in that, but you have to be open to that, you know? And I really feel like when you get to this high priestess point, it's like you're so in tune with your intuition and with that divine timing and with what you're meant to do, that things just happen like this. It's like you want it, you got it. And I really feel like you're getting to this point where you're really aligned with your higher self as well. And it's just, I really love it because I also see you doing like a lot of seminars and teaching other people because the hermit is the teacher. Um... But yeah, there's something around like seminars. I don't know if you always wanted to do a seminar or something. Um, but there's something like, like connecting. There's that thing of connecting with others. And in this case, it's about teaching others. And I feel like that may be your dream right now. And that may be something that you want to do tomorrow. And maybe that is something that you need to do in a month. Because until then, you have to do some inner work around being a teacher. So maybe you think that you're ready to be a teacher. And your subconscious is like holy shit no this is not for me being a teacher what nah I could never do that and on for you in your conscious mind you're like well that's totally attainable and I definitely feel like there's something around your subconscious that you kind of need to um tune into and really tune it really acknowledging acknowledging your limiting beliefs okay that's underneath the surface and when you get to that point where you automatically um, see where your blocks are, things move really quickly. And there's also this thing of surrendering and letting go and just knowing that everything is happening in divine timing. Okay? Yeah. So let's pull some messages uh, on like some advice on like what to do next, how to move forward. Okay? What do you need to do right now? We have calm amid chaos. That makes so much freaking sense. And we also have the signs already with you. You could be seeing a lot of like fours, especially. Um, we also have 30 food, uh, 30 food, <laughs> what? 33, 32, gosh, maybe 33, but 32 sums up to a five. So maybe 333, 444, 555, something like that. You could be seeing a lot of synchronicities. That is your guides. That is the universe. That is your angels, whatever you want to call it. That is them telling you, hey, dude. Good job today. You are on the right path. Okay? So pay attention to those. Don't just ignore it. All right? I am go actually somewhere in time. I'm going to do a little pick a card around synchronicities, what they are trying to tell you. Uh, so if you're interested in that, definitely comment down below. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, with this calm amid chaos, it's really when that confusion hits, it's really understanding why is it hitting? Maybe because I don't have the recognition yet. It's because 
I'm still on the underground, you know? No one knows me. And why do you fear that? Okay, there could be something around like in your childhood, you were, um, I kind of am getting two scenarios that could come up to this point. It's like in your childhood, you were never really seen and you may have created this belief that when you were, when you would be an adult, you would actually be recognized and everything would fall into place. I also have another scenario where your parents could have praised you a lot and could have always told you that, oh, you're on red path, keep going, yeah, good job. And sometimes you didn't really feel that way and you always had to go towards their expectations and that's where the expectations towards yourself come in and maybe that's something that you need to heal, okay? So it's really when things are not happening, when you have a setback, when things are moving really slow, when you have some delays, really be calm and really know that you are on the right path and what you're doing is enough and that the signs are telling you that you, what you're doing is enough and that you are doing just great and just fine, okay? So let's pull some tarot here. We have the magician, woof, devil, and nine of cups. So with this devil, I definitely feel like it's letting go of the limiting beliefs. It's like you're wanting to, you're manifesting. There's that thing of being a Virgo and manifesting really nicely. Uh, you don't have to be a Virgo though, but I do feel like you're a great manifester either way. Um, and you are like, you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. You're scripting, you're manifesting with a new moon, you're doing rituals, you're, you're visualizing, you're, you're doing everything, you know? And then you don't get anything. Like, what the hell? This was supposed to work. Thing is, you have that devil between have the magician and you have the nine of cups. That is wish fulfillment. That is happiness. That is um, self-fulfillment. Okay, you being really good on your own and independent. And that is here. And right in the middle, you want to get there. But you're like, yeah, I can't. Because of the devil. Because you feel that, oh no, I just can't get past through this. Like, how can I go through all these weeds? It's impossible. I see the money there, but how can I get there? It's never gonna happen. Dude, what if you go home, grab a scissors, and you just cut it? That is what you need to do. I know what I'm talking, I'm, I'm saying it. Like, it's, it's really easy, and it's just like that. But it, just acknowledging that you are not looking at solutions, and you're only looking at uh, blocks, then that is already a big step, okay? That is already the first step here. You already acknowledging that you are only seeing the weeds and you're not looking for the solution to cut the weeds and to go through the weeds. That is already amazing, okay? And then you go and look for the solution and that solution involves healing, okay? So yeah, I really feel like right now you're homework, <laughs> your assignment is to look at what you're trying to manifest and trying to figure out what are your blocks to that manifestation. So you're trying to manifest success. What do you think about success? What, were, what are your beliefs or what did your parents teach you um, around success? You know, you may think that success is evil, that you'll lose your privacy, that you won't have a private life, that you... Um, I don't know, that success makes you, uh, I don't know, a bitch, <laughs> I don't know, you know, whatever it is, try to figure out what is getting in the way, all right, but let's see, let's pull some final messages and advice here uh, for you, we have meditation, we have bubble bath and face mask, and we also have be careful something is wrong here, and in this case, it's mindset, okay, it's all mindset, Especially with that meditation, you see how like you have the hermit there. It's not, she's not necessarily meditating, but it's some shape of that. Uh, and you have the high priestess. All of the, all of it, it's really, really spiritual. Okay. All of it, it's really you connecting with your higher self in both of those scenarios. And I really feel like this meditation, you don't have to sit your ass down, close your eyes and focus on your breathing. That is a type of meditation. There are a bunch of types of meditation. Okay, for you, maybe it's about enjoying a really good bubble bath. Maybe it's enjoying a really good self-care, mani-pedi kind of night. Okay, whatever it is where you truly focus on yourself, you truly focus on the present moment, and you truly focus 
on your worth, that for me it's already meditation. Where you're not thinking, you're not giving your thoughts space to exist. You're acknowledging them and you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to listen to you. All right? But you acknowledge them and you see, okay, that is not okay to say. So please go away. I have the door open. Feel free to leave. Okay? So, pal three, this was awesome. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see your beautiful face in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey there, pal number four. Welcome to your reading. Last but not at all least, I'm sure this will be great. So as I said in the beginning, before we take a look into the cards to see where your current path is taking you in the long run, we're going to pull some shells, okay? So don't forget to smash the like button if this reading resonates and you feel like this type of content. I always really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? If you don't want to miss a thing. And if you're interested in private reading, by the way, the link is down below. So let's get started. So, let's see here. That's a really interesting combination. So, number one, I feel like you're super spiritual. I feel like, maybe not spiritual, but I feel like you're super intuitive and you have this, I'm getting big water energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you don't have to be, but I kind of feel like, um, I don't know, you may have like big planets on those signs. I kind of feel like there's something, you could even have like your 10th house on an, a water sign. Uh, but there's like a big water influence here where you're truly connected with yourself. You're truly connected with your feelings and you're truly connected with your intuition. Okay, I really feel like your intuition is going to be the key here to tell you, oh, whoops, hello. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we ran out of battery. But just like the, the light went down, when everything is dark and when you're like in the middle of the unknown, when you have no idea what to do, your intuition is going to be the guide. And I feel like right now, now that things are not um, working for you, but maybe there's something that you want to do when you're kind of in the dark. You're trying to figure out, okay, what the hell should I do? What the hell is going on here? Your intuition is telling you what to do and your intuition is telling you where to go, how to move and how to live, you know? And with this shell right here, this is for me, it's all about, um, well, obviously it's for me because it's, it's my shell. But this one for me, uh, it's all about self-care, okay? Really taking care of your body and really taking care of uh, hearing routines. So really making sure, I kind of feel like your routine, like your morning routine, your night routine, your work routine, none of that is normal. <laughs> I feel like you're not supposed to be in a nine to five job, honestly. Maybe you are, but your morning routine is going to be really random. Your morning routine is not going to be the same as other people you know maybe you're you're a night owl and maybe like all your friends are working a nine to five and you're working from 8 p.m to something and because that feels good to you you know and i kind of feel like the key here is really listening to your body and listening to what feels good that is your intuition already talking to you through your body okay so don't be afraid if you have like a weird routine if you have like a weird schedule embrace it because that's part of who you are and that is actually something that you need to embrace moving forward because that honey it's bringing you a lot of good stuff okay this is all about celebration and happiness it's very sun card for me leo energy and it's just about having the time of your life so i do feel like your current career path is taking you somewhere amazing okay and your intuition is the guide okay your intuition is always a guide especially here because you're going towards a beautiful place. Oh, <laughs> wow. You're definitely going towards a beautiful place. Success. Look at that. Believe in yourself and dare to dream big. And we also have the butterfly emerging. Take the leap of faith. So maybe right now you're either wanting to take a leap of faith or already took a leap of faith. And you're like, oh shit, what is happening? Like, I don't know if I should do it. You, maybe you already took the leap of faith and you ended up in a really dark place. No windows. And you're like okay, maybe I screwed up and I shouldn't have taken a leap of faith. What is your intuition telling you though? Because with that leap of faith, I kind of feel like that is taking you to success. Okay, I really feel like your intuition is telling you, dude, this is for you. 
okay? Because I just feel like you took that leap of faith for a reason or you're wanting to take that leap of faith for a reason. And that sun is the reason. It's like you feel like it's pulling you. It's calling you. And it's just like, dude, I have to do it. I have to go that way. This could be something how simple has, I don't know, publishing a really thought-provoking article or a really thought-provoking product overall you know it could be something as simple as that maybe something as big has literally changing your career and i feel like you're not afraid to do it i feel like you're afraid of what comes after it because it's new it's it's you don't know anything about it or what do you know it's like only when you're there you know what it's like you know and it's like you could read a million books about being a mother or a father. And only when you're a mother and a father, you actually know what it's like to be a mother and a father, you know? And I feel like that's what we're talking here. It's like you could have studied a lot to take this leap of faith. You could have thought a lot about it. But once you're there, it's like everything goes to a void. Everything goes to the dark. And you start losing your shit. And it's like, oh my god, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But you do know. Okay, keep dreaming big, keep believing in yourself and really keep focusing on making yourself happy because that is taking you somewhere amazing. All right, so let's pull some more cards here. Let's see what we have. Oh, look at you with the growth. And we also have complacency. That is interesting. So I kind of feel like, especially this being underneath the take the leap of faith of that butterfly energy. Uh, oh, wow, this is so bright. Sorry about that. Didn't notice. But, um, especially with this complacency being beneath the leap of faith, I kind of feel like if you don't take the leap of faith, if you hadn't taken the leap of faith, this would be where you would land, okay? Really, like, mourning something that you lost or, yeah, feeling like you lost an opportunity and feeling like you lost um, a really amazing new beginning that maybe it was meant to be yours. I feel like you would always have this what if inside your mind, you know? And for those of you who are in that thing of like, oh, maybe I should take a leap of faith. I don't know. The what ifs could kill you. <laughs> I mean, not literally. But I feel like it would really bring you down. But if you do take the leap of faith, maybe a lot of growth could happen. Okay? A lot of growth could happen. And I really feel like you would be blossoming into who you want to be. You would be blossoming into this beautiful person. Into just like amazing, beautiful things. And you would be freaking happy, okay? From the moment, like, from the moment we got this shell, it's like, this is the sun card, okay? This is the happiest card, the tarot. This is you being a happy baby, living your best life. Do you want more than that? I can hear some of you saying, like, well, money would be nice. And with success, I kind of feel like the money comes with it, okay? And even if, I kind of feel like this is not the case, but... Just so you keep it, this in mind, because it's really aligned with that shell as well. It's like, um, just keep this in mind for your path. I don't feel like this is going to be the case for this leap of faith uh, specifically. But whenever you supposedly take a wrong turn and you take the, the wrong leap of faith and you shouldn't have done that, you had to do it. Because you had a lesson to, to learn. You had to go through the growth there. Maybe painful. Maybe really hard for you, quite possibly, but it opens your eyes and it teaches you a lot, okay? So just keep that in mind. So let's pull here some tarot for you. We have the hanged man. There, it, there we go with the Pisces energy. We have the two of pentacles, nine of swords, magician in reverse, and world in reverse. So <laughs> this is so interesting because I kind of feel like this is more talking about your current situation. Um, rather than how are things going in the long run, like your current path, because I feel like right now you're really trying to figure out with that two of pentacles, you're like, leap of faith, no leap of faith, staying, going, what should I do? I don't know. And you're really trying to figure out, you're really trying to gain alignment, again, intuition, especially with this hanged man, it's all about getting, uh, alignment and getting a lot of information through, um, your intuition and from your higher self, from the universe. And... Um, I feel like that will tell you where to go. And with this nine of swords, you could be really scared of making that decision, of making the wrong decision. Again, keep that in mind. There is no wrong turn because every turn has every turn has something for you. Sometimes it's a reward, sometimes it's a lesson. 
kind of feel like in this case, it's a lesson, okay? Uh, or it's a, a reward, <laughs> sorry. Um, and it's also a lesson. It's a lesson for you to face your fears. And most of the times, the things that scare you the most are the right path to take, okay? The things that freak you out and you're not really sure if it's the right path you're like you're you gain a lot not anxiety but you're, you're like there's something pushing you but at the same time you're so scared to do it that is the thing to do it because you have to face that fear okay and i kind of feel with the magician in the world and both in reverse i kind of feel like in the long run um well first of all there's this thing of you realizing that you don't need anything else because you already know where to go. Once you face this fear, it's like everything becomes clearer like the sun. And that darkness is filled with the intuition. The intuition is going to be the sun for you. And you really start emerging. And you really start seeing that, well, maybe I should just go for it, you know? And um, I kind of feel like in the long run, there's a lot of like gratitude. There's a lot of like looking at the current situation and being like, oh my god, like look at where I was 10 years ago or five years ago, two years ago, and look at where, where I am now. I've grown so much. I've done so much. I have so much success. And it may not be even that much in terms of like society measurements, but for you, it's so much. And I really feel like you're going to be in this beautiful place where you truly believe in yourself and you truly believe in what you do. And it's like, you, you, just, you just go for it. And you're like, you know what? Screw it. I have to be happy. And I feel like there's this thing of like not even caring if you're going to be rich. It's like you're happy. That's what matters. And when you're happy, money sort of follows. Okay? I believe in that at least. And um, now let's move into... Let's actually, before we do that, let me grab my buddy here. Oh, <laughs> wow. This is incredible. Like you're pile was the last one I shuffled with this deck and look at where it ended the bottom of the deck sun holy cannoli so we have the sun here we have the king of pentacles holy freak like what look at all this and it's like not even the four of cups is important because it's like I don't even care if things are going bad I know where I'm going I don't even care if it's not looking good. I feel that it's good, you know? And you have this beautiful energy here where you have so many new beginnings and you have um, a lot of imagination, a lot of things flowing because you're following your heart and you're feeling free to be yourself. A lot of recognition, okay? A lot of good opportunities. And especially with this King of Pentacles, it's like the King of Pentacles is the boss of money, okay? He knows what he's doing and he is wise. He has learned a lot growth and he's not afraid to he knows what next action to take he's really really clear about where to go okay so let's pull here some um advice on like what the next step to take is uh or should be and uh yeah just advice <laughs> so let's see we have attempting offer has a high price and we also have from death comes rebirth so this could actually be something um I kind of feel like for some of you, especially with this complacency, could be quite literal, uh, where some, like, I don't know, maybe a family member passed away uh, recently, if if they did, I'm really sorry to hear that, um, but I kind of feel like there's, uh, this may sound a little bit bad, but I feel like there's a blessing in it, because you may actually reconnect, reconnect with um, an old passion, you may reconnect with... Um, I don't know, an old hobby, something like that, and something like, like you gain, you, you come, you come alive, you know, and I feel like this death actually brings a lot of good stuff, brings a lot of memories, and brings a lot of stuff more than just that relationship, it brings stuff about your school, it brings stuff about um, your dreams as a kid, and everything, and I feel like that allows you to gain a new perspective on your career and where you want to go, you know? Even if you didn't uh, lose anyone recently, I kind of feel like there's this thing of um, you, I kind of feel like this could be like a, an old hobby, something that you would used to do as a kid or you always wanted to do as a kid, you always had that dream and, you know, rebirth. 
you start becoming more of who you are, you start becoming freer and you start um, and that world could definitely be about like someone coming back or you going back to um, a place, going back to um, a previous job or a previous hobby, a previous something. And I definitely feel like from that comes a new you. And that's where the leap of faith may, may um, be scary. It's like, I'm going to go back to that. How can I know that I won't fall back into the person I used to be? How can I know that I won't fall back into my old toxic habits how can i know that the bad outcome is not going to happen again it's all about mindset it's all about what you believe it can be okay and especially with this attempting offer has a a high price i am picking up on like a card from another deck that it's the dangerous pleasure it's like the most dangerous things bring the highest pleasure or something like that and i kind of feel like that it's what this is talking about is that um it may be really scary and it may feel like it's it's tempting you and you're like, oh, maybe this is not that good. Maybe it's really amazing, okay? And again, I kind of feel like um, there's that thing of the what ifs, you know? I kind of feel like that would really, really be bugging you over and over and over again, all right? So let's pull some tarot here. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse, we have the Four of Cups and we have the Emperor. It's really time for you to step up. Um, we have strong water. We have here Pisces. We have Leo. You don't have to be. We also have um, Aries. You don't have to be any of those signs. But it's really about connecting with those energies. Because I kind of feel like something, and it, again, it could be that thing from childhood, that it's kind of weighing you down a little bit and it's creating a lot of burdens. And it's time to let that go. It's time to really see where you want to go time to really see your current path. Is it making you happy? Is this new path, can it make you happy? And I kind of feel like the um, key here to move forward is really figure out how, where, or where, in which option do you feel like the emperor? Okay, I actually have a decision, pick a card um, that, that may be useful. It's focused on career. Um, so you, I, I don't know, it may be useful. But um, really try to figure out which of these options really make you feel like the emperor, really make you feel like, I don't know, it's something that you want to do and you want to wake up every single day to do. You know, I feel like that is a big question that you need to ask here. Would you be okay in not taking the leap of faith? Because I kind of feel like the what ifs, like that keeps showing up. I really feel like you would be asking yourself um, that a lot, okay? So let's pull some final messages and advice from the universe. We have hang and tie changes coming, embrace it. We have small things matter to you. We also have rewrite your story, yeah. So there's that thing of in the past, this could be like a previous job and things didn't work out. It doesn't have to not work out again, okay? You can always rewrite your story. And the thing is, Maybe in the past, especially like if you see here with this growth, she has a little watch, divine timing. Maybe at that time, it wasn't the right thing. It wasn't meant for you. And if this thing is showing up again, it's because it has something else for you. It has a lesson. It has a reward. I feel like in the past it was the lesson and now it may be the reward. Okay, so you can make this work if you want to make it work. Okay, that's all about that rewrite your story. It's, you don't have to, you can tell yourself a different story that this is going to work. This is going to be my career. This is going to be what makes me happy. Or this is what makes me happy, you know? And really try to take one small step at a time. I really feel like right now, it's a small step that's actually a huge step, which is figuring out what makes you feel like the emperor? What makes you feel like the boss? What makes you feel like you rule the world and... No one can stop you. Powerful. Okay? Change is coming. Really embrace it. Alright? Leap of faith. Okay, pal four? So, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And, private readings, the link is going to be down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.